Jake here for American Trucks, and today I'm taking a look at these powered heated towing mirrors with the smoked LED turn signals in textured black from 2015 to 2019 F-150s. If you're towing and hauling with your F-150, you know that the stock mirrors can be woefully inadequate as far as visibility goes. So these mirrors are gonna give you better visibility with larger surface area for the glass, additional lighting, plus some more adjustability over stock. These make for an excellent upgrade from your stock mirrors, and they're not gonna hurt your wallet too much either. When you've got a big trailer out behind your truck or you're hauling a heavy load, being able to see properly makes all the difference in your confidence behind the wheel. So if your F-150 came with the standard size mirrors and you're towing or hauling a lot, then you owe it to yourself to upgrade. These mirrors feature larger main sections of glass in addition to these convex sections in the lower portion. Now these are gonna provide you with much more surface area so you can better place your truck and trailer as well. These can also be manually extended, making it easier to see if you've got a large trailer or a larger load behind you, it's very easy to do too. Now these also retain your factory power adjustments for that main mirror glass, so regular adjustments are super easy to do too. In addition, they also retain the heating function, so on cold or snowy mornings, you just switch on your rear defroster, and these are gonna clear off with absolutely no effort from you. It all makes for very easy usage and a very simple upgrade versus your stock setup. But there's even more. On the outside, the mirror caps are finished in this texture black to match the rest of the trim on your truck, there's also a chrome option available if you want a little extra flash. But the bigger story is that these include some additional lighting. So on the back side here, you've got these LED turn signals with a smoked lens. Now these are gonna look cool and stealthy and they work in conjunction with your regular turn signals to make your rig more visible out on the roads. Now since they're LEDs, they're gonna last a long time too. That means you don't have to worry about bulb replacement. And on the underside, you've also got these LED puddle lights making getting into your truck at night all that much easier. Construction here is all OEM grade ABS plastic. And again, you've got that textured black backing plate on here to match the rest of the plastic trim on your truck. And like we were talking about a moment ago, you also have those LED lighting elements, both in the turn signals and in the puddle lights. So everything is durable, plus it looks and functions just like your OEM mirror setup. Pricing is gonna come in at around $450 for this pair, making them pretty affordable considering all that you get. This is really a no compromise modification since you're retaining all of your factory functions and maybe even adding a little bit more. Between the heating, the additional mirrors and the lights, you're you're getting a lot of stuff here and it's gonna be a vast improvement versus your stock mirror. So if you're towing or hauling a lot or you get yourself into some tricky situations with your truck, it's a small price to pay for the additional visibility and safety that these are gonna provide. Installation will come in at a one out of three on our difficulty meter and it should take you about 40 minutes to install, approximately 20 minutes per side. Now this is mostly a plug and play operation here with just a few bolts to loosen and a connector to plug back in. However, if you wanna take advantage of those puddle lights that we were talking about and your truck didn't have them from the factory, you are gonna to need to run some wiring, which is of course gonna increase the difficulty and the amount of time you need to spend on the job. However, you get everything you need in the kit. All the wires that you would need to run those are included in the box. Also, if you have a 2018 or 2019 F-150, you are gonna to need to get and install an air temperature sensor for the passenger side mirror right here, as this sensor was relocated to the mirror in mid-2018. But otherwise, like I said, this is pretty much a plug and play installation. You even get some new nuts for these mirrors as well, so you don't have to reuse your old ones. And to show you exactly how to get this job done, let's head on over to the install bay. The tools we'll need for this project is a 7mm socket, a 10mm socket, a short extension, a quarter inch drive ratchet, a power ratchet if you have one, a small flat blade screwdriver, a couple of soft trim removal tools, wire cutters, pliers, wire stripper and crimper, electrical test light, and a couple of pieces that you may not, that will not be included in the kit, some sort of electrical connector such as a T-tap and some spade bits. Hi everyone, today we're gonna to be installing a set of towing mirrors on our 2018 F-150, but before we can do that, let's get the old ones uninstalled. Our first step is going to be removing this inner trim panel using our soft trim removal tool. So let's do that. Now we're gonna disconnect our electrical connector by pushing in on the tab and pulling it out. Then we can use our soft trim removal tool to remove the hold down from the stud at the bottom. 
and just push that out of the way. Now we can remove the four 10 millimeter nuts, two right underneath the panel, two on the outside of the trim, and then we can remove the mirror. Okay, using our 10 millimeter socket, we'll take these nuts off. I recommend loosely installing one of the original nuts onto the stud just to keep it from falling when you take out the, other, the last two bolts. Now we're going to use our 10 millimeter bolt socket to remove these bolts. Now we can support the mirror with one hand by removing the loosely attached nut from the other side and go ahead and slide the mirror out of its mounting point. Now you can repeat this process for the other side. Our next step is gonna be to remove our door panel. In order to do that, we've got a couple pieces of trim that we need to remove first. One is the trim on the door panel and there's a second piece right underneath it that needs to come off so that we can access the screws. Okay, we're gonna be using our small flathead screwdriver to help pry this trim away so that we can get our soft trim removal tool in there to finish the job. Being very careful, of course, not to damage the trim. Now that we've got it partially pried away, we can insert our trim removal tool and pull it out. Now we can use our small flathead screwdriver once again to remove this small piece right here in the middle. It should be able to slip your trim removal tool behind it and pop it out. Now we're gonna remove the four seven millimeter bolts here, 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 and here using our seven millimeter socket. Now there are two more seven millimeter bolts at the bottom of this door panel here that we also need to remove. Now we can disconnect our door handle cable from the door panel trim itself by using our flathead screwdriver and prying down on this clip. Once you have the clip disconnected, then you can just push the cable away from the door. Now we can go ahead and remove our door panel. Now we can go ahead and remove our door panel simply by pulling away at the bottom, disconnecting all of the clips, and then lifting the door panel straight up. Now be careful when you lift this up because there are wires connected to the back that have to be disconnected before we can fully remove the door panel. Now we can disconnect our power windows and our power lock connectors. Simply by pushing in on the tab on the connector and pulling it down. Now you can repeat that same process for the other door. Now we can go ahead and install our new mirror reusing the original hardware. Okay, 
And don't forget your two bolts on the side. Now we can tighten them down using our 10 millimeter socket. Now since our truck comes with an eight pin adapter, the new mirrors have a 22 pin adapter. So we're gonna have to install our adapter harness. That's simple enough just by plugging it in, inserting it into the cavity, and then plugging in our factory harness. At this point, there's some added functionality of these new mirrors that our old mirrors didn't have, which is why we have these three extra wires here, a blue wire, a brown wire, and a white wire. Now we're gonna connect the blue wire and the brown wire for the clearance lights and the turn signals in the mirror. The white wire will require some extra work, which includes drilling through the door panel and into the body to run the wires up to the dome light. That we're not going to do on our vehicle today because of the amount of work that is involved and the fact that it would be a permanent modification to our vehicle. So, what you're gonna to have to do is do some testing using a test light to find out which wires will work for the blue and the brown wires. Now our truck's already got the T-taps installed, which is what you'll need in order to connect these wires. Now we've already done the research and found out which wires connect. You'll have to do the testing on your vehicle to make sure that you find the correct wires. So let's go ahead and connect the spade bits to our wires and get those connected up. Now we're gonna go ahead and strip the ends of our wires, attach our spade bits, and then plug them in to our two T-taps that we've already got installed. Now we're gonna connect our brown wire to the harness with the white connector on it and the blue wire to the wire that connects to the adapter harness. Now we can go ahead and reinstall our door panel. Now we can go ahead and reconnect our electrical connectors and our door cable. Now we go ahead and secure the door panel using our original hardware. Now we'll tighten those down with our seven millimeter socket. Now we can get the two screws at the bottom and tighten those up with our seven millimeter socket. Now we can reinstall our plastic trim pieces
and repeat that whole process for the other side. And that wraps up our review and install of the powered heated towing mirrors with the smoked LED turn signal with textured black for the 15 to 19 F-150. Thanks for watching and remember, for all things F-150, keep it right here at americantrucks.com. <laughs>